Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you 10 hidden effects inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. The chromatic aberration effect. So first of all you have to go with your clip into Fusion. Then open the effects tab. Then go to templates and open templates. After that go to Fusion and open Fusion and left click tools. Now drag and drop the chromatic aberration effect into the node field. Then you have to disconnect this arrow and connect the media in one node with the chromatic aberration node. Okay, and now you only have to connect the chromatic aberration node with the media out node. Well, now you can see that there's a chromatic aberration effect. And if you want to increase the chromatic aberration strength, then you just have to increase this slider. And if the chromatic aberration is over zero, then you see that there's a shiny red outline effect. And if you decrease the chromatic aberration slider so that the value is under zero, then you see that the blue part is more shining. And the red parts are more in the middle of the character. If you want to, you can also play around with the center X and center Y values. So as you can see, the red parts and the blue parts are changing. But now I want to continue with the next effect with the advanced camera shake effect. So again, open the effects tab, go to templates, go to fusion and open tools. And then drag and drop the advanced camera shake effect between the media in one and media out one node. So as you can see, we got a nice camera shake effect. And there are only two important sliders for me. So the first slider is the overall magnitude slider. With this slider, you can change the strength of your camera shake. And the second important slider is the primary shake smoothness slider. So if you want that the camera shake is much more smoother, then you just have to increase the smoothness slider. All right, that's it for this effect. So now we move on to the plasmic effect. For this effect, again, open the effects tab, go to templates, go to fusion and open backgrounds. Now drag and drop the plasmic effect into the node field. Then you have to press right click on the plasmic effect and select the ungroup option. Now we just have to zoom out. And as you can see here, that is our beginning. So we delete this main background. And then we drag the media in one node to this position. Now remove this arrow between the media in one node and the media out one node. And connect the media in one node with the brightness contrast nodes. Then you have to go to this brightness contrast 2 node and go into the inspector. Increase the gain to 0.6. Then go back into the node field and zoom out. Now we just have to find the last node and the last node is the soft glow node. So try to connect the soft glow node with the media out node. And as you can see the plasmic effect is working. And if you are not satisfied with the results of the effect, then you can play around with the nodes and the sliders. But for now I want to move on to the next effect, to the posterize effect. Again, go to templates, go to fusion and open looks. Then drag and drop the posterize node between the media in one node and media out node. Now decrease the smoothness to about 3. You can also play around with the step slider if you want to. And yeah, that's it for this effect. So let's continue with the binoculars effect. Again, open the effects tab, go to templates, open edit and go to effects. Then you just have to select the binoculars effect and drag it into the node field between the media in one node and the media out node. Now go into the inspector. Increase the aberration distance to about 0.3. Okay, and now increase the aberration distance and aberration strength sliders to your liking. Then increase the edge blur and mask blur to your liking. And also increase the eye width and eye height a little bit. And now the effect is done, but if you want to, you can also change some sliders or you can add animations. So and now I will continue with the next effect with the digital glitch effect. Again, go to templates, edit, effects and search for digital glitch. Select this digital glitch node and drag it down into the node field. Now your video should look like this. And now you can go into the inspector. And here you can change the glitch position. You can also change the glitch width. And you can change the glitch height. But if you want to change something different, then you have to go back into the node field and double click the digital glitch node. So here you can see how the effect works and you can see which nodes are getting used to create this effect. And if you want to change something like the brightness, then you have to go to the brightness and contrast node, then go into the inspector and increase the brightness. Alright, that's it for this effect. And now we move on to the next effect, to the DVE effect. For this effect, again go to templates, edit and effects and search for DVE. Select DVE and drag it down here. And as you can see, this is the DVE effect, so you got a little window of your video. And here in the inspector, you can change the position of the window. 
You can also change the size or you can change the rotation of this effect. We've also got a little border around this window and if you want to change this border then you just have to open the border tab and here you can change the width and the height of the border as well as the corner radius. And if you want to you can also change the drop shadow which can be seen here. So go to the drop shadow options and here you can change the shadow strength, the drop angle, the shadow distance of your window and the blur. Alright that's how the effect works. So now let's start with the next effect with the highlight stretch effect. So for this effect again go to templates, edit and effects and search for highlight stretch. Select highlight stretch and drag it down here between those two nodes. And now I will show you how the effect works. So go into the inspector and here you can change the stretch width or the stretch height. So as you can see we got some little blurry lines of the bright parts of our video and you can change the direction of these lines. If you want to you can also change the length and the fade off. You can also decide if you want to merge this effect over your subject or if you want to merge it under your subject. If you want you can also play around with these five sliders but I don't think they are very necessary. In contrast to these sliders the pattern size slider as well as the pattern density slider is very important. So as you can see this effect changes a lot if you change these sliders. Alright let's move on to the next effect. The night vision effect. For this effect again go to templates, edit, add effects and search for night vision. Select night vision and drag it down between these two nodes. And now you've got this effect which gets used in a lot of music videos like the opium music videos right now. And here in the inspector you can change the color by clicking into this field. And then I hit the OK button. Back in the inspector you can change the pixel frequency and you can change the brightness by changing this gain slider. And now I recommend that you decrease the gamma a little bit and now you've got this nice look. And again if you want to change something different then you just have to double click on this night vision node. Okay and now I will present the last effect for this video, the noise distortion effect. For this effect again go to templates, go to edit, go to effects and search for noise distortion. Select noise distortion and drag it down here. Now go into the inspector. Here you can adjust the noise controls, the displacement controls and the shading controls of your effect. So I go to noise controls and here you can change the position of the noise as well as the contrast of the noise or you can change the brightness of the noise. So this is a very trippy effect. So if you are satisfied with the noise controls you can go to the displacement controls and here you can change the offset as well as the refraction strength. If you want to you can also add some light to the scene or you can add some shading by clicking into this field. Alright that's it for this effect. So I hope these 10 effect presets inside of Fusion helped you. If so then leave a like or sub to my channel. Go watch one of these two videos and check the first link in the description to get some free and nice effects. Thanks for your support and stay creative and bye.